The government's implementation of a new code of ethics appeared intended to shore up the ruling party's standing. So let's look at that word, shore up. That means to strengthen. So the ruling party wants to strengthen its standing. Why? Well, there's an increasingly blank electorate. That is the people who vote the ruling party into power in the first place. And what are they exactly? Well, we look here towards the end and it says right now the party is besieged by charges. And there's a lot of negative going on here. So siege by charges shows that the electorate's not, not happy because there's these charges are that basically they've been embezzling money and there's corruption going on. So how's the electorate going to be feeling? Well, coming up with their own words, something negative, and we can say unhappy for now. Now we may make, get multiple answers, but because this is a sentence equivalence, we want to make sure that those answers are similar words. So we go through here, we get rid of A, aloof, standing apart, B, placid, peaceful, opposite of what we're going for here. Restive does not mean at rest. It is one of Jerry's favorite trap words. It actually means restless. And if they're unhappy, they're restless. That's close enough. Skittish. Hey, skittish is also restless. And you can see that then these two words have to be the answer no matter what comes next because these words both work in the context of the sentence and they are synonyms. And let's go through all of them though. The starting with tranquil, obviously the opposite of what we're going for, though it is a synonym with placid. They're both opposites of what goes in the blank. And then finally vociferous. So vociferous means outspoken and the electorate could very well be outspoken. And so I think a lot of people choose F and they choose skittish perhaps. But again, Vociferous and skittish are not similar words, whereas skittish and restive are.